Hi everybody, my name is Reeves. I'm excited to be back with you all today. As soon as you're ready, join me in a child's pose on your mat. So shins to the ground, bring your sits bones towards your heels and reach your fingertips towards that short top edge of your mat. Allow your arms to settle down to the mat and then just bring your forehead to the ground too. Spend a few breaths, kind of just grounding into your body. Grounding into your breath. Noticing what's present, what you might be bringing onto the mat with you. And meeting all of that exactly where it is. Meeting yourself where you are. Take a deep breath into the back of the heart space. And breathe out. Take another deep breath in. And take a deep breath out. Let's do one more like that. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your body into a tabletop on a breath in. Palms on the ground. You might bring your knees a little bit closer together underneath your hips if you had them wide in your child's pose. Just notice the ground underneath your hands. Notice the ground underneath the tops of your feet. Bring just a little bit of space between your shoulder blades. Draw your, draw your navel towards your back. On your next breath in, find a cow pose. Drop your navel, lift your chin, stretch through the abdominal cavity. As you exhale, opposite action, cat pose. Draw your navel to your spine as you rainbow your spine up towards the ceiling. Gaze back towards your thighs. Inhale for cow. Exhale, cat pose. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat. From here, start to move a little bit more freely on your own invitation to become explorative and curious and creative. So this might involve jump roping your spine. You may flip your wrists forward and backward, fingers forward and backward rocking gently over the wrists. And you may send your hips back towards your heels for a foot stretch. And you don't have to do any of those movements I just named. The important thing is that you are just listening to your body and taking what you need. It's not about being perfect. It's not about what it looks like. So can the focal point be on the feeling and the internal experience? The whole time creating a relationship with the external. From here, tuck your toes. Lift your knees off of the ground about two or three inches. Press into the ground with your hands. Draw space between your shoulder blades. And then think about pressing your abdominal cavity towards your back. We're going to hold here for three, for two. On one, lower slowly back down to the ground. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Inhale. Exhale, same thing. Knees lift up. Push into the ground, navel to back. We're gonna be here for three, four, two. On one, lower slowly, really, really slowly, back down to the ground. So knees come to a hover and then they come down. Breath in, 
breath out. Let's do that one more time. Tuck your toes, lift your knees off of the ground. Hold here for three, for two, downward facing dog on one. Lift your hips up. You might step your feet back, start to pedal out. As you pedal and find movement in the shape, can you think about that space between your shoulder blades? So there is a tiny, tiny cat spine in our downward facing dog. So we are not collapsing through our shoulders. So we have a firm foundation. Press firmly into all points of your hands. Gaze goes back towards your feet. Soft bend in your knees. Take a breath in. Come onto your tiptoes. Exhale, bring your heels back down to the ground. They don't have to touch. Inhale, tiptoes. Exhale, heels draw back down. Inhale, tiptoes. Exhale, walk forward. Let's come into a forward fold at the top of the mat. Take your time. The journey does not have to be fast. Once you get to the top, drape your chest over your thighs. You may deepen the bend in your knees. Allow your head to be heavy. And again, inviting yourself to Meet whatever is in this space with you today exactly, exactly where those things are. And accepting and embracing all parts of the journey in the process. Halfway lift, take a breath in. Bring your hands to your shins. Bring your heart somewhat parallel to the ground. Shoulder blades draw together just a little bit. From here, can you shift the weight into the balls of your feet? Next exhale, fold back down. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Let's do one more half lift. Take a breath in, half lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, roll to rise. Let's come all the way up. Arms are heavy as we lift up. Urdhva Hastasana, once you get to the top, Bring your arms into the air. Stretch through the sides of your body. Ground into your feet. Keep breathing as you hold your arms up. It's firm foundation. Think about lightness across the heart space. Mm, from the base of your pelvis up through the crown of your head. Forward fold. Breathe out. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Urdhva Hastasana, roll to rise, arms lift. Forward fold, breathe out, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, Uttanasana. Last one, inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms rise. Uttanasana, forward fold. Ardha Uttanasana, inhale. Uttanasana, exhale. Bring your feet just a little bit wider, maybe close towards those long edges of your mat. If you have a block in your space, bring that in between your feet towards the top short edge of your mat. Place your left hand on the block. You don't have to have a block, so that's okay if you don't have one. Bend your left knee, lengthen through your right leg, peel your right arm into the air. So we're in this twisted fold. Think about lifting out of your left hand, reaching up through your right fingertips and across your chest. Forward fold, exhale, back down. Switch out your hands. Let's take it to the other side. Bend your right knee, lengthen your left leg, lift your left arm up towards the ceiling. Maybe you turn your gaze up towards your left hand. Take a breath. Exhale, fold. Remove the block. 
Place your hands on the ground, heel toe, heel toe your feet, back to hip width distance, and then just land in a forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, plant your palms. Step your feet to the back of your mat. Find a high plank pose. So in your high plank, push down through the palms. Think about pressing the top part of your spine. So the space between your shoulder blades up towards the ceiling. Hips in line with shoulders, tucking hips up towards shoulders. Inhale, press into the balls of your feet, travel forward about two inches. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, slowly walk to the top of your mat. Forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. We're gonna move forward from here. Low lunge as you exhale. Step your left foot to the back of the mat. Inhale, peel your right arm open. Easy twist. As you exhale, revolved on Janae Asana. Drop your left knee, untuck your left toes, Push into your right foot to bring your shoulders over your hips. So we rise up into the twist. And then when you're here, notice where the parts of the shape require strength. As you rotate through your rib cage, can you draw your navel towards your back? Anjane Asana, bring the shape through center. Biceps frame your face. Exhale, bend your elbows, cactus your arms. Spread really wide through your fingertips. Just take a breath. As you inhale, open your arms, keep the cactus shape, bring your sternum forward, lift your gaze slightly. As you exhale, eagle wrap your arms, right arm comes underneath your left. You may just reach for your shoulder blades if eagle wrap does not feel good. Wherever your arms are, inhale, lift the shape of your arms about two to three inches in space. And as you exhale, keep your eagle, find half split legs, Ardha Hanumanasana. Lengthen your right leg, flex your right toes towards your face. Inhale. Anjane Asana, rebend that right knee, unravel your arms. Forward fold, breathe out. Bring your hands to the ground, duck your left toes, gently step up or hop, hop. Forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Urdva Hastasana, roll to rise, arms up. Forward fold. If you have some space, you might become a little bit more expressive. Bring your arms beside you as you come down. Halfway lift. Breathe in. Exhale, plant your palms. High plank pose. Inhale, shift forward. Chaturanga, exhale. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Inhale. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Exhale. Take a breath. Hmm. Breathe in, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, top of the mat. Take tiny steps. Take as long as you need to get there. Halfway lift, breathe in. Low lunge, step your right foot to the back of the mat. Left foot stays forward. Inhale, peel your left arm up. Easy twist. Think about rotating through the rib cage as you draw your left hip to the back of your space. And then reach up with your left fingertips. Use your core to lift out of that right side. Take a breath. As you exhale, revolved on Janae Asana. Keep your left arm in the air. Drop your right knee. Rise up into the twist. Anjane Asana, breathe in through center. Exhale, cactus your elbows. 
and then just hold here. Spread really wide through your fingertips and then get really firm in your base. So press your right shin down, press your left foot down. Take a breath in. As you exhale, think about pressing your shoulder blades into your back. Inhale, open your heart, lift your sternum, keep the cactus arms, but start to bring your elbows a little bit closer together behind you. Lift your gaze. Exhale, eagle wrap, left arm underneath your right. Maybe you just reach for shoulder blades, take a breath in, lift the shape up, elbows, arms up. As you exhale, half split, keep your eagle. Anjane Asana, take a breath in. Forward fold, breathe out. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Urdhva Hastasana, rise up. Forward fold, breathe out. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, plant your palms, high plank pose. Take a breath in, knees to the ground, child's pose. Good opportunity to notice feeling, notice sensation, Notice perhaps any changes in state since we began. Whatever's coming up, can you invite it in as part of the process? Nothing needs to be changed. Everything is just as it is supposed to be. And we just ride the wave of discomfort. Inhale, tabletop. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, slowly start to travel forward. Let's move forward through something new. Forward fold, top of the mat. Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Utkatasana, chair pose, take a breath in. Start by bending your knees and dropping your tailbone. Reach your arms forward in space. Biceps frame your face, navel to spine. Try to reduce any kind of flaring through your ribs. So if it feels like you are poking out your tailbone and sticking your, or drawing your sternum forward, Bring your rib cage towards your back, weight in your heels, tiny, tiny tuck of your tailbone. One more breath in. Exhale to stay. One-legged Tadasana, breathe in. Lift your left knee. Left knee comes in line with your hip. Drop your left hip to bring space through the left side of your body. Take a breath in. Warrior three. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Extend your left leg long behind you. Left hip points down, flex your left toes towards your face. Totally fine and normal to wobble over this left or right ankle. Reach for stability where you can find it. It's okay if it's not easily accessible. High lunge, take a breath in. Step your left foot to the back of the mat, arms into the air. Right knee tracks over your right ankle, push off of the ball of your left foot. Navel to spine. And we're breathing. Inhale. Exhale, revolve, high lunge. Hands to heart center. Twist towards the right. Hook your left elbow outside of your right knee. If that's not accessible, maybe you just rest your left forearm on top of your right thigh. Maybe 
you don't even track your chest forward. Left hand can be on the back of your right knee or the side of your right knee, right hand on your sacrum. So sometimes it's just a matter of moving around to see what works the best. So as you twist through your rib cage, left hip shines down. Take a deep breath in, reverse triangle. Separate your hands, left arm reaches forward in space as your left heel spins down. Left hand eventually finds the side of your left thigh as your right arm reaches up. Left toes point towards the left side of your space as your right toes point forward. Take a deep breath in. Low lunge, breathe out. Back to the beginning. Easy twist, breathe in. Exhale, revolved Anjane Asana. Anjane Asana, breathe in. Cactus, exhale. Inhale to open, expand. Exhale, eagle wrap, right arm underneath your left. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, half split with your eagle. Inhale, Anjane Asana, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Urdhva Hastasana. Let's rise. Forward fold, breathe out. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, plant your palms. Step your feet back, high plank pose. Inhale, shift forward. Chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Other side. Take a moment. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Travel to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. And as we move into the left side, what do we want to change? Maybe we want to shift our focus back to where we are and what we're doing. Maybe there was something we were telling ourselves on the other side that we don't want to take with us on this side. Chair pose, bring it, breathe in. Drop your tailbone, lift your heart, lift your arms. Weight goes back into your heels to bring a little bit of energy into your glutes. One-legged Tadasana, right knee lifts. Breathe in. Stay for your exhale. And as your shoulder blades move up, can you draw just a little bit of space between your shoulders and your ears? Sometimes those tiny places of softening just happen energetically and nothing actually happens in our body. Next exhale, warrior three. Vira Bhadrasana three. Bring your hands to heart center. Bring your right leg into space behind you. Navel to spine. Shoulder blades draw together just a little bit. Softly bend your left knee to draw your right hip towards the ground. <laughs> High lunge, take a breath in. And then just give yourself a moment to land in your shape. Think about pressing your right knee back. Come onto the very ball of that right foot. If there's any tightness in the hip, the right hip, softly bend your right knee. Take a breath in. Exhale, revolve your high lunge. Hands to heart center. Hook your right elbow outside of your left knee. Maybe you bring your gaze up towards the ceiling. Right hip continues to shine down as you rotate through your rib cage. Reverse triangle, deep breath in. Right heel spins down. 
Right arm reaches up and over. Left arm eventually comes in space in front of you. Reach up towards the ceiling as you shift your hips towards the front. Press down with both of your feet and squeeze your feet together. Take a deep breath. Exhale, low lunge. Here we are, back to the beginning. Easy twist, breathe in. Revolved Anjane Asana, exhale. Anjane Asana, breathe in. Cactus, exhale. Inhale, open, expand. Exhale, eagle wrap, left under right. Inhale, arms move up in space a few inches. Exhale, half split with your eagle. Anjane Asana, unravel, unwind, take a breath in. Forward fold, breathe out. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Urdhva Hastasana, roll to rise. Forward fold, breathe out. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, plant your palms. High plank pose. Skip your vinyasa if you would like to. Drop your knees. Child's pose. We're going to move forward into a Pilates glute and core burn. But before we move forward, give yourself a moment to shift from one space to another. So not a physical space, but a mental and energetic space. Allow your heartbeat to slow. Allow your breath pattern to smooth and even and if that is not possible today, that is totally fine. Know that that is welcome in the space. So we show up as we are and we just move through it. Take a breath. Hmm. Come into a forearm tabletop, please. Knees underneath your hips, forearms on the ground. Bring your palms to the ground. Stretch your fingers nice and wide. From here, extend your right leg long behind you. Point your right toes away from your hip. Try to ensure that your right hip points down. We have a one part movement. We're gonna tap our right knee to the ground, extend and lift. Bend and tap, extend to lift. And as you extend your right leg, squeeze your right glute. We're gonna be here for 10. For nine, think about space between your shoulder blades for eight. Navel to spine, core is engaged for seven. Last six. Final five. Hold your leg long in four. Last three. Last two. Last one. Leg is nice and long in the air. Again, point your toes. Squeeze your right glute from here. Bend your right knee to 90 degrees. Lift your right toes up. Keep the bend of your knee. Lower back down, extend. Bend, lift, lower, extend. So this is the movement. We're gonna be here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, in two. Hold your leg long. 
Last one. Make it a good one. Make it count. Leg is long. We're going to pulse. Right heel to ceiling. Float your leg as high as you can. Pulse from there. Heel up to ceiling. Just about an inch and then down just about an inch. We're going to be here for just five. Leg comes down in four. Last three. Keep breathing. Last two. Last one. Knee down. Child's pose. Bring your knees nice and wide. Sit back. Take a breath. Hmm. We're going to do the other side. Here we go. Okay. Forearm tabletop. Back to where we were. Same place. And if you ever want to bring your hands together, that's totally fine too. So palms down or hands together. Sometimes I clasp my hands together too. Left leg long behind you. Left hip shines down. Press down through your elbows to bring space between your shoulder blades. Squeeze your left glute to get that left leg nice and high. Point your toes away from your hip. Take a breath. Tap knee, extend. So it's that one part movement to begin. Navel to spine, intention through your core. We're here for 10. For nine. For eight. Seven, gazes straight down at the mat in front of you. Six. Five. Four, keep breathing. We're in it for just three. Hold your leg long in two. Last one. Leg is long behind you. Reaffirm the point of your toes. Bend your left knee. Lift, lower, extend. Bend, lift, lower, extend. We're here for 10. For nine. Eight. Seven. When you lift your toes up, can that lift come from your glute? Five. Four. Hold everything long in three. Last two. Last one. Finish whichever one you're on. Leg goes nice and long. Float your leg really, really high. Use the strength of that left glute muscle. Pulse left heel to ceiling. We're here for 10. For nine, doesn't have to be a very fast movement and it doesn't have to be very big. Last five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Everything comes down. <sighs> Child's pose. Take a breath. And because we're here, lift your hips up, find a puppy pose. Forehead comes down to the ground. Reach your arms nice and long. You might bring your knees wider, just given that we just worked our glutes. Find a little bit of relief before we go on. Okay, let's move forward. Come to your back. Shoulder blades down, head on the ground, and then bring your knees into tabletop above your hips. Bring your hands behind your head, lift your shoulder blades up. Gaze is towards your navel. Think about navel to spine, removing any space between your back and the ground. So think about 
tucking your hips up towards your shoulders. Take a breath. We're gonna extend right leg, hover your right heel to the ground. Keep your left leg exactly where it is. Pull your right knee back, extend and hover with the left. So this is the only movement we're doing with each leg. We're gonna be here for 10, for nine, eight. Keep breathing, seven. Try to lift your shoulder blades up just a little bit more. Last six, five, four, three. Knees go back right on top of your hips every single time. Three, I think three. Last two. Last one, knees in tabletop, keep your chest lifted. Extend your right leg to the ceiling, point your left toes towards, I guess, what is the back of your space, but keep your left heel lifted. Right toes are right above your right hip. We're just gonna draw a circle on the ceiling with our left toes. Going in one direction, the size of an orange, we're here for five. Drop your left heel if it's too much. Four, keep your shoulder blades lifted for three. Last two. Last one. Bring your left leg back into the air to join your right. Drop your right leg to a hover. Lift back up. Left leg to a hover. Lift back up. Shoulder blades never drop. We're going to be here for just five. For four. Last three. Last two. Last one, make it a good one. Shoulder blades stay lifted. Both legs long in the air. Let's do the same thing on the left side that we did on the right with the circle. So drop your right leg, hover your right heel in space. And then we're just drawing a circle on the ceiling the size of an orange with our left toes. We're here for just five. Four, for three, last two, last one. Bring everything down, draw your knees in towards your chest, rock and sway just a little bit across your sacrum. We have one more thing and then we're gonna be done. <sighs> Knees and tabletop, lift head, neck, and shoulders. So shoulder blades are up. Once more, right hand, bring it to the top of your left thigh and then squeeze those surfaces together. So you are pressing your hand with your thigh and you are pressing your thigh with your hand. That's gonna cause a little bit more tension through your core, right leg goes long. As we hold this squeeze, we're dropping our right knee, sorry, right leg, and lifting it back up. So it's that same thing. We're just lifting and lowering our leg with an isometric hold on the left side. We're not here for long, just five. Just four. Keep the squeeze, last three. Navel to spine for two. Last one. Okay, take it to the other side. Head, go, head goes into your right hand, lift your shoulder blades. Press the top of your right thigh with your left hand. Extend your left toes up towards the ceiling. Squeeze everything on the right side. Drop left leg, lift left leg. We're gonna be here for five, for four. It's really, really slow. We're trying to build time under tension Last three, last two. This is the last one, make it a really good one. Last one. Everything comes up, everything comes down. Reach your feet nice and long. If you have a bun in your hair like me and it's hard to Lay down, put something underneath your head. 
Take a breath. Before you get too comfortable, draw your knees in towards your chest. We're going to come back down for a Shavasana in just a moment. Knees into chest. Keep your right knee. Extend your left leg long. Bring your left hand on your left hip, just for stability, just for some accountability. Really gently draw your right knee towards your right shoulder. You might explore taking it a little bit wider just to see what's there, see what's open, where is the limit. Searching for the limit in honor or with the intention of honoring the limit. So when we find it, we're going to listen and says, okay, stop. Draw your right knee over to the left. Supine twist. Right arm goes long to the side. You may turn your gaze towards your right hand. Allow gravity to gently pull down on that right shoulder blade to bring you some space across your right pectoral muscle. Just staying for the moment. Trying to release the anticipation of what's going to happen next, where we're going to go. Just giving ourselves full permission to be right here. One more breath. Slowly start to unwind. Lift your right knee back in towards your chest. Bring your left knee up there too. And then let's switch it out. Right leg goes long. Nice and gently. Draw this left knee up towards your left shoulder. You may place your right hand on your right hip just to keep this right hip grounded. And then exploring the space of limitation on the left side. So noticing when you find it, whenever you're ready, start to draw your left knee over to the right. Take a breath out. You may put a block underneath your knee or anything that you have in your space that will give you a little bit of a lift. Extend your left arm long to the side. You can gaze towards your left fingertips to bring the stretch into your cervical spine. Maybe your gaze goes towards the right. Maybe your gaze stays up. And let gravity do the rest of the work in the shape. Final breath. Start to draw your knees back through center. Place your left foot on the ground. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh for a figure four stretch. Invitation to lift up your left foot. Reach in between your thighs and reach for the back of that left thigh. You can draw this left knee forward towards your chest for more of a stretch through the back of this right hip. And if it would feel good, I feel like this is always kind of something I resort to, is gently rocking to the right and to the left, just for different sensations through the back of my right hip. Flex your left toes, 
flex your right toes or ankles rather. And then eventually we'll switch out our legs. Whenever you're ready, bring your left foot back down to the ground. Bring your right foot to the ground and switch it out. Left ankle crosses over your right thigh. Flex both ankles. Reach in between your thighs. Reach for the back of your right thigh. And pull that leg a little bit closer towards your chest. Invitation to find a gentle rock and sway. Start to uncross your ankle from your thigh. Happy baby. Reach in between your legs, reach for the outer edges of your feet or for the outer edges of your knees, or I guess the backs of your knees, outer edges or backs. If you choose to reach for the outsides of your feet and you've noticed that your hips have lifted up, see what it would be like to actually reach behind your knees to bring your hips back down to the ground so that you can get that release across your low back. Take a breath. You might circle through your ankles and wiggle your toes. Eventually release the shape, press your hands or place your hands on the outsides of your knees, bring them together, lift your feet up, find a waterfall. If you are looking for a little bit of lift in your hips, bring your feet down, lift your hips up, place a block or anything underneath your sacrum, and then lift your legs back into the air. I'm just allowing anything that might have collected in your feet to find its way back down the length of your legs to be cycled through the sacral and solar plexus chakras and up through the heart and out through the throat. Just allowing the energy of the movement and the resistance and the tension and the muscle activation to start to come down, start to settle. Eventually, bring your feet back down to the ground. Find a final resting shape. So if you had a block underneath your hips, set it to the side. I have a block underneath my head because my hair isn't allowing me I can't, I can't lay all the way down. <laughs> okay. So think about how you want to set up your body. Shoulder blades soften. Maybe you move your arms just a little bit further away from your body. Maybe you move your legs just a further, a little bit further apart. Allow your feet to naturally splay outwards. Let's set up this space of rest. Soften the space between your eyebrows. Loosen your jaw. Allow lightness to come across the backs of your eyelids. Once again, meeting ourselves exactly where we are Challenging ourselves to really truly exist in this present moment. In just this present moment.
Take a full breath in. Breathe out. Full breath in. Belly, rib cage, chest, sternum, shoulders. Breathe out. One more. Exhale. You are more than welcome to stay in this space for as long as you need to. If you're ready, slowly start to come out of your Shavasana. Let's roll to one side. Doesn't matter which side. Rest your head on your arm. Find a moment to honor your practice and honor your movement. Your commitment to exploration and self-examination. Releasing the judgment. Accepting what is. Start to lift yourself up. Come into a seat. Let's face each other as we close. Place your hands on your thighs or your knees. You can sit cross-legged or you can sit on your shins in a Vajrasana shape. Just find something comfortable. Find a long spine. Drop your shoulders. Lift up through the crown of your head. Tuck your chin slightly so the back of your neck lifts up. Soften your diaphragm. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Bring your hands together at heart center. Press your thumbs into your sternum. Honor the teacher within. And bring your thumbs up to your third eye center. Press them into the space that's here. Honor your intuition. And then we'll bow forward to honor each other, ourselves in this sacred lineage and practice. Thank you so much, everybody. I'll be back next time. <laughs>